Hi, I'm Hans Lem. Today I want to explain the origin of the human species. This may actually surprise and amaze you. I'm taking this teaching from a new book by Gabriele called Me, 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 The Spider in the Web. In this book we are reminded that our true home, from where we all once came, is the eternal heaven, the kingdom of God, the pure, divine spiritual realm that was created through and out of God's Spirit. Other words for this primordial stream is love, light ether or just consciousness. Out of his eternal omnipresent stream God created and creates forms of creation, that is forms of evolution. Seven unimaginably immense ethereal universes with their suns, planets, worlds, nature kingdoms and fully evolved spirit beings also called the sons and daughters of God. These children of God are his creation thoughts. In the book we read, In the eternal pure being, God is not in the form, he is himself the complete divine form, the Father, and is himself the expression of the complete forms of the spirit beings. However, these divine spirit beings are not omnipresent like God, but are all conscious. They are absolutely free without limitations in their perception and mobility. Their home is the infinity because they are the inhabitants and heirs of infinity, where they are active participants in the continuous creation and expansion of all that is. We are talking here about you and my amazing true origin. This is our eternal ethereal home from where we all came, without exception. Every human being, every animal, plant and mineral. So why are we no longer here? Eons and eons of time ago, when creation was still relatively young, a certain amount of these spiritual beings left this divine realm, God's kingdom, to create their own kingdom. Mystics have called this event the Fall and I've explained it in several of my videos. Cosmic Awareness calls it the fall of consciousness, because everything is consciousness, which is nothing but energy and vibrations. These spirit beings wanted to be lords and rulers of their own personal kingdoms and subjects, thereby acting against the law of divine love and unity. Through their negative desires, feelings and thoughts, they created their first personal envelopment of burdens which means that the life force was energetically transformed down and now streamed from the burdened particles to their spirit bodies and formed a gas-like shell, similar to an aura. And the more they violated against the divine law of love, the burdening continued and so the hardening of these shells. This all happened over unimaginably long courses of time. And as these four beings continued their violation against their divine heritage, the density that we call human beings emerged very gradually. And the gradual condensation also enveloped and condensed everything around them, like the spiritual planets that were their dwelling places, as well as the other nature kingdoms around them. And this is why, here in the pure heavens, is the divine law, which is selfless, unlimited, all-inclusive and unconditional love, the law of creation and unity. But here in the fall regions, this law was reversed and became the ego law, the personal law. In the pure heavens, the spirit beings fulfill the will of God because they feel completely integrated. But in the fall regions, the beings are living in the illusion of separation and have programmed and imprinted themselves with their self-will, their ego-will, with which they act and affect everything around them, like the mineral, plant and animal kingdoms. Vibrationally, they drag everything around them down as well. Over time, this transferred down energy became denser and denser and matter appeared. So strictly speaking, matter is the result of the unlawful behavior of every single human being. Matter has become the human will which took on form. Simultaneously, the shells of their souls became denser and denser and this crystallization eventually caused our physical body. 
Now, if this all sounds a little strange or unfamiliar, we need to remind ourselves that our entire universe is basically nothing but different vibrations or frequencies of energy. I explained it in detail in my special video. Yes, even the smallest atom is, at its basis, nothing but vibration and energy. With this in mind, we can better understand how the highest energy vibration, being love and ethereal, was transformed down to the lowest vibrational level, which we call and perceive as matter. Again, everything that is, is nothing but vibrational energy. But let's come back here. As we have heard earlier, here in the ethereal pure being, God is the form. He is the creator and expression of all evolutionary facets or phenomena of these pure realms. But not so in the four regions, as they are not the expression of God. Here God, the primordial stream, the all-ruling law of love, is merely in the stars, in the nature kingdoms, in the souls and in human beings. Here God is not the form as in the pure heavens, but he is in all condensed forms, in all the four elements of matter, in every particle, in every atom, in every molecule, in every component of the body, in every cell, every plant or animal. But he is not the form of the cell, plant or animal, neither any condensed form or matter itself. Now we see that our physical body is not the expression of God, but merely an expression of our own burdened soul, based on our self-will, desires, feelings, thoughts, words and actions. And the only way to return to our original state of being is through self-recognition, repenting and clearing up and no longer acting against the law of love. So we human beings are here on earth to raise our soul vibration again to the image of God, the Eternal Father. You can read so much more about this in this book, Me, 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 The Spider in the World by Gabriele. It's now available in many, many different languages, English, German, French, Italian and many others. And I put a link to this book beneath this video. I'm so happy you could join me today and I'm looking forward to see you in my next video.